happy Wednesday. It's time for our chart of the week, and it's uh, Oracle this week. We're going to profile this one. O-R-C-L is the symbol. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chart and see what we can figure out here. So um, if we annotate over here, we see this stock has made a really nice move here above resistance, and we always like to move above resistance to have really good volume, and more recently, we've had some pretty decent turnover and you can see that over here from the latter part of August until the early part of September we're, um, we're we're making higher highs and higher lows on the MACD indicator along with the relative strength index we're not quite overbought here yet we also see uh, a strong move up here into the positive territory on shake and money flow no coincidence here that this has occurred while volume is starting to expand. So what does that tell us? That tells us the big money investors, the hedge funds, pension funds, banks, and so forth are piling into this stock um, as we speak. So they do have earnings coming out in a couple of weeks. Um, some of its competitors like Salesforce um, and Microsoft and SAP have come out with real strong numbers. And so I suspect that uh, Oracle will do the same. They did come out with really good numbers back in June. Early and you can see the big, huge spike up and move up, get back down and right back up again and hit some resistance at that 126 level. I think the stock can make a move at least up to there and then possibly perhaps after earnings up to the 130 level. I did buy some calls on this today and actually added some last week as well too. But um, I do like this uh, Oracle move. Um, and again, um, once above this, um, if it can confirm above this 122 level, which it passed through today, which would mean another up day on, uh, on the stock, um, we think it's going up higher. That's Oracle. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you.